to make this quick. I'm part of a film crew called Film or Die. My name is G and we're making How to Make America Great Again. So to celebrate our number 45 year mark and being the uh, Oval Office, I have a piece called He Gets It. <laughs> so now I'm woke. Why did I like Chris on the couch and get out? I'm on a subway in DC headed to the inauguration. Doors open. Feels like 1944 Normandy D-Day. Funny how we left number 44 for 45, like the Mexicans homies say, I way. I hop off the L and I'm making my way downtown, walking oh, yeah. fast, through my gas, and I'm sky high. La, 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 la. <laughs> and I get to this guy named Brent from Green Bay, or at least I think he is because of the jacket. And Brent is standing by a cardboard cutout of Donald Trump. And he asked if I'm a supporter. And I took my white pass, I mean my MAGA hat. Uh, we do know what a, okay, so we know what a hood pass is. Just because I'm black, I can't go to Compton in a black neighborhood and just think I can go there, right? So the equivalent of a hood pass is this hat right here, and that's my white pass. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> I put on my white pass, and Brent and all gathered himself and then asked, can you take a picture with me? And I said, damn right. Now me and Brent trapped tight. And then as I leave, I hear his wife say, he gets it. And I do get it. I get the fact that in the Midwest, it's harder to detect racism. Down south, they have Confederate flags. Out west, they skin their heads. So just like when a family moves to a neighborhood, a new neighborhood, they go online to see where the sex offenders and child molesters are at. When I see a neighborhood with a Trump pin sign in their yard, I'm like, probably somewhere where niggas should be at. Ah. <laughs> when I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, blew my gas, and I'm sky high. <laughs> Went down to this inauguration, had a ball, slapped high fives, her Caucasians, Sunday favorite song, Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. I don't know why they like this song. <laughs> so I saw a family of five taking pics by the monuments. I asked if I could be of some service. They saw my white pass, I mean hat. They said, brother, why don't you come join us? So here I am doing mixtape poses. <laughs> doing high school senior poses. With the ah. You saw it because the romper, yeah, right. <laughs> and the mother of the five says to her husband, he gets it. And I do. People of color, us blacks, people under the Dreamer Act, when they see this hat, they see a skyscraper. When all your life, it was told sky's the limit. You want to travel the world, they want to see you pivot. Basketball terminology. But I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, blew my gas, and I'm high now. We at the subway platform, destination last stop. I'm surrounded by white folks, from overalls to ascots. So I decided to see where they turn up was at. When I say Donald, you say Trump! <laughs> Donald in the sea of white people said Trump. Donald in the sea of white people said Trump. And in the climax of the cheers, they wanted to see who started this chant. Expecting to see a white kid who listens to black music only because he likes how his car shakes from the bass and the amp. At last, it's my black ass. And they wrap their arms around me and laugh and say, he gets it. And I do. I get that out of 65% of Caucasians, 25% have empathy and understand our struggle and the pursuit of happiness is a right everyone should be allowed to, no matter your gender, religion, or race. My job is to find that 25% of the descendants of white abolitionists and get our babble on. So now we're on the train, me and the squad in front, so we can see what's coming towards us. I'm gassing people up, more rally calls. <laughs> when I noticed a black man in his late 40s standing in the back, my soul cringes. Did he just see my coon act? A couple stops happen and I noticed the black man is moving up. He looks distinguished. His posture is of a man that's respected. And I want to tell him this is all the rules and act. A couple more stops. The train is less packed. And I kid you not, the black man sat as close as you are to me. And I start to walk towards him, ready to tell him I'm no Sambo. I'm no mistral show. I sit down next to him before I could tell him this is all had a purpose and it's all worth it. He says to me, you don't have to explain nothing to me, youngin. I was in the military for 15 plus years. I know about shucking and jiving to see a greater later. And with tears in my eyes, I said, he gets it. Thank y'all, I appreciate that.